Hey guys, this lesson's on momentum. Now, when you look at momentum, there's two formulas that come to mind. First one is momentum equals mass times velocity, which is kind of similar to force equals mass times acceleration. And if you recall, acceleration is the change in velocity over a change in time. So if we break this up, we can um, make this force equals m v delta v over delta t and bring this t over here. So delta t times force equals mass or uh, and uh, mass times velocity or you know delta delta momentum so these are the two formulas you should know that p equals mv and impulse which is a form of uh, momentum is force times change in time so let's look at an impulse problem really quickly so say we have a golf club and a little golf ball and the golf ball only weighs 0.1 kilogram. And this golf club is exerting 500 newtons on this golf ball for point for one hundredth of a second. Okay, we want to find the velocity of this golf ball. Well, first we have to find its uh, new, or change in momentum which since it has no momentum in the first place, it will just be um, how much momentum it has. So we use this, our impulse formula. So it uh, puts a force of 500 newtons for one hundredth of a second. And that will give it five kilograms meters per second of momentum on it. And this is kind of the standard unit for momentum. So if it has if we're trying to find the velocity of it and we have its momentum five kilograms meters per second, all we have to do is divide it by its mass, since momentum equals MA. So we divide both sides by the mass which is 0.1 kilogram cancels this out and this out and then we're just left with 50 meters per second and that's a speed and what we're looking for okay now that we've done an impulse problem let's talk about uh, kind of some collisions so say we have a car And this car has a velocity of 50 meters per second and a mass of 200 kilograms. And then we have a truck. And this truck has zero velocity, but it has a large mass of 100, or 1,000 kilograms, sorry. And we are trying to find, after this car crashes into it, they'll stick together and be one, one thing. And we're trying to find the velocity of that thing after the collision. Well, the important thing to remember in momentum is that conservation momentum is always, always relevant. So, if we take in our system right now, which is the car and the truck, we only have one source of momentum, the car. This truck has zero because it's zero velocity. So the momentum of the car right now is 500 meters per second times 200 kilograms which will equal 10,000 kilogram meters squared so that is our starting velocity or starting uh, momentum for our problem so it will also have to be our ending momentum. So after they collide, we have you know this jumble of wreckage, just like this car wrecked into this truck. But we still have 
all this momentum in it. So if we have 10,000 kilograms meters over seconds of velocity, I mean of momentum, the way we find the velocity is by dividing it by its mass, just like the last one. But now the mass isn't the car's mass, it's both the masses combined. So it's the truck's mass, 1,000, plus the car's mass, 200, which, as you could probably see, 1,200 kilograms. These kilograms take out, and then the final velocity of both of them combined will be 8.33 meters per second. All right, so let's look at a uh, two-dimensional problem. Let's say we have two football players. One football player running this way with a speed of 5 meters per second and a mass of 120 kilograms and one football player running this way. And his mass is 100 kilograms and his speed is 10 meters per second. Okay, so we want to find the final velocity after these two hit each other and then go off in some angle this way. Well, the way we do that is, remember conservation momentum, we look at it as a vector. So, in this one we only have x and y, so we only have to look at this and this. So, in our x direction, the only thing that we have affecting our momentum is this guy, because this guy is only y direction. So, and his momentum is 5 meters per second times 120 kilograms, which ends up being 600 mkg over s. So, in our x direction, our momentum is 600. Now in our y direction is uh, this guy's, so 100 kg times 10 meters per second, which equals 1,000 kg m s. So in our y direction, it's 1,000. So all we have to do here is just a simple uh, triangle. So since this is 1,000, like we can see here in our y direction, and this is 600, it's just an a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we have so 600 squared plus 1,000 squared will give us c. Will give us 116.2. Okay, so this is our final momentum, not our final speed. So we have this final momentum here. And just like the car problem we just did, we have to add up the new weights, because this is some jumbled, jumbled pile of person, which uh, mass is the weight of this guy and this guy. So we divide that all by 220, because that's both their mass combined, kilograms. So we cancel out the kilograms, and when these two um, divide, it ends up equaling 5.3 meters per second. And that's how you find that velocity. Okay. And this last problem, actually, this la I'm running out of time. This last problem, the uh, next problem, I'll leave a link for right here. Just uh, click on it. Uh, it's been recommended by a lot of people. Um, so I uh, promise I'd do it for them. It's a two dimensional um, kind of hockey puck thing, before and after. So just click on there and I'll do it. And if you have any other suggestions for any other problems that you need done, uh, just let me know and I'll get it done pretty quickly. And I'll uh, post the video. Alright, thanks. Catch you later.